Good morning, movers. Let's do some shoulder mobility today. Uh, I thought we would do something around moving the shoulders and moving the upper back just to counteract some of the, perhaps the being at a different size desk to normal when you're working uh, or maybe just kind of just being sat around watching a little bit more TV than normal. They just put us into different postures. Um, that perhaps we're not so used to and it can be nice to just undo some of the sensation. So, a bit of mobility for the upper back, shoulders. You're going to need a wall and the first thing you're going to do is simply pop your hands onto your wall at about chest height, walk back a little bit and bow. So you'll just drop yourself down through your arms and then as you come up, allow the hips to move forward. So you come into a slight back bend. So the hips will hinge back, arms will stay pretty straight and then you'll let the hips come forward still with the arms straight. And I'm just gonna slowly move backwards and forwards between those two positions. And this is just a really nice way to get the shoulders, the hamstrings, the back. When I do this, I often get a couple of little clicks in my back when I first start. And as you come forwards, you should also get a little bit of calf. So I'm gonna do one more, and then I'm actually gonna hold down, and I'm going to release one arm, and reach it underneath, and then out to the side. So you sweep it under, bring it back out to the side, and I'm pushing into this hand that's on the wall still, allowing my legs to move, almost like a little pedaling action. And I'm really thinking about moving from my shoulder blade, extending as far as I can and then opening as much as I can. And this should start to move the upper back, which will feel quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. And then the other side. So just come up for a moment and then we'll bow back down, we'll make sure that other arm is straight, and we'll reach under the other direction, and then back out. So you see my knees, I'm just allowing them to kind of naturally flex and extend. I'm trying to keep this arm pretty straight still, it will probably bend and soften a little bit, that's okay. I keep the hand roughly head height as you keep moving in and out of these reaches. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. And then I will bring myself back up, let the head settle, just because when you're down, you come up, your blood pressure needs to just rebalance itself. I'm now gonna take a hand up really high. So still facing the wall, hand as high as I can reach. And I'm gonna bring this arm, and I'm gonna thread it through, like I'm trying to wrap behind me, and then back out to the side. So thread through, take the eyes with you, and then open. Again, you're trying to keep this arm straight that's on the wall and actively push your palm into the wall and spread your fingers like your hand has become a little starfish stuck to the wall here. Okay, and do a couple more again. And then I'll change sides. So this arm goes up nice and high, really reach, and then take the other one through because it's like I'm trying to reach behind me towards my shoulder blade there. We'll do a couple more. Okay, then you're gonna turn side on. So you're gonna have your one hand on the wall. And again, try and be straight here. So you simply step away so that arm can be straight. I'm going to take my outside leg back just a step so I can then just tuck the hips slightly forwards and get a stretch here. This arm is now gonna come out to the side and I'm gonna reach underneath my other wrist. I'm trying to just slide under, reach and rotate back as far 
as I can and then back out. Again, get nice little clicks and cracks going on as I do this. So satisfying. And I'm trying to keep this hip pre-positioned forwards the whole time too. Okay, I'll do one more. Then I'm actually gonna hold this position and side reach as high as I can up the wall. So I'm gonna lean over. I'm still trying to push away with this hand so that I get a bit of a C shape going on through my side. And I'm just literally tapping my fingers up nice and high on the wall. Go do two more. And then I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. So you can see this from the other side. So arms length, that outside leg just tucks back, a little squeeze under through the hip, and then this arm will come right the way underneath and then back out. Nice little click on the shoulder blade. So you can do this and not have to go to the chiropractor, it's great. I'll do two more. And then I'm gonna come into that high up sideways reach. So push the hip away from the wall as you reach the fingers up nice and high on the wall. And we'll just do a couple more, really nice stretch all the way through the side. Okay, and then just to finish with, I'm gonna do a bit of a mobilizer for the neck. So what I want you to do is put your hands out shoulder height, you're going to just step backwards, and as you step backwards, you'll take your arms with you, but you're going to keep your head looking forwards. And I really want you to try and move as far as you can with your legs, hips, arms, and shoulders while keeping the eyes literally focused straight ahead. So there's not really any movement at head level. And what this is going to do is it's going to do what we call a bottom up, mobilizer for the neck, which is actually the way the neck prefers to move and mobilize. So it feels nicer than say like a head roll or head circle. That's a top down mobilizer. I'm gonna do two more. So if you get stiff in your neck, do this. Then I'm gonna do the other side. So a nice big step back, a big, big reach with the arms that you throw them as far as you can around. Keep that trail leg pretty straight. And again, those eyes fixed totally ahead. So right now I'm feeling a lot better through my mid back and my shoulders. Hopefully if you followed this all the way through, you do too. I'm gonna do two more and one more. And then that's it. So give those a bit of a knees out. That should feel really lovely. I feel like I've got a lot more freedom through that mid-back now. Uh, so any comments you've got, pop them in the box and I shall see you guys later in the week. Bye.